Okay, so check this out. You know when you're surfing Amazon and you see all those items labeled as bestseller or Amazon's choice? I guess I've always wondered if that was a real deal, right? Like, is that item really that good to be their bestseller? Well, today I'm gonna spin the roulette wheel, so to speak, and buy a few random bestseller items from Amazon and see if they're really that good. Stick around for this one because it's coming right up. All right, thanks for clicking on this video and I'm happy that you're here. I'm John and I'm the founder of 40 Over Fashion. And if you're into men's lifestyle topics for grownups, please hit that little red subscribe button and join in. So if you're an Amazon Prime member, you've probably been getting emails recently letting you know all about Prime Day. So Prime Day started back in 2015 as a one day savings blitz exclusively for Prime members with more deals than Black Friday. It's now a two-day event and it's happening today and tomorrow. And I put together a bunch of curated categories of items in my Amazon store. So if you'd like to go check out some of those deals, I'll leave a link for you down below in the description box. So some of the best deals are gonna be with electronics for the home and of course, Amazon brand products. But like I mentioned earlier, I've always been curious about those bestseller items. I mean, if it's labeled as the bestseller, it must be decent, right? Well, today we're gonna to find out because a few days ago I recorded myself buying a few different of these items labeled as the bestseller. Now the rules I set up for myself were that I had to buy the first bestseller item that came up. A few of those things I did see beforehand as I was searching, but some others, I virtually had no idea what was gonna pop up. As you'll see, I bought some of these items and I have them right here to show you. But first let's jump back in time a couple days and head over to the computer. All right, here we are in my computer. So let's start the uh, Amazon bestseller roulette. And the first thing up is a men's dress shoe. Men's dress shoe. And uh, let's see, the first bestseller that comes up is this one right here. Now, some of these I have seen, some of these I have not seen. And when I was looking at this one, um, I did notice this wingtip one right here that I think I might I might run with this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this one to the cart and we're looking at $32, $33. So we'll get that one. Uh, the next item on my list is a chuck a boot. And chuck a boot. Oh, right here, the very first one, right here. Um, Clark's, this one shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. Let's select my size and eliminate what's not available in my size. I've got navy already. I'm not sure about this sort of canvas color, but that one looked interesting to me. So I might run with this burgundy, but unfortunately this one doesn't seem like it's gonna be available to me. So I might go with this sort of taupe distressed suede. I'm gonna go ahead and run with that one. So we'll add that one to the cart. The next item is going to be a button down shirt. So let's see what comes up here. Men's button down dress shirt and the first bestseller. Holy moly, what is all this stuff? Um, all right, bestseller, best, I don't see the best. Oh, there it is right there. What? Holy mackerel. Who is this Koofandy? Kuf, we have to buy my. We have to buy a coup fandy. I guess I'm going to be a medium here. So let's run with. Let's select medium. And then the color situation. I don't know what color I should get here, guys. But that's an interesting looking shirt. Let's go ahead and get the black one and uh, add that to the cart at twenty five dollars and move on to the next item. Cardigan sweater is on my list. Men's cardigan sweater. All right. You guys know I'm a cardigan sweater fan, so let's jump on this best first bestseller. Let's take a look. Doesn't look too bad. I'm not crazy about the pockets on it, though. But uh, let's pull up my size. I'm assuming I'm a medium here. And, oh, man, look at all the colors. What do you guys know? I'm not feeling that one. That's kind of a weird color. I'm not crazy about the light colors. The burgundy actually might not be so bad. I might run with burgundy, but let's kind of look through some of these. Too bright red. Either this sort of gray 
charcoal one that's the first one or this burgundy how about this how about i choose which one and uh it will be revealed when things arrive how about that i'll make this one a surprise check this out men's puffer jacket see what comes up bestseller right there let me select medium and uh, what do you guys think about some of these colors? That one's not too bad. Let's take a look at that one. We'll add that one to the cart. So we've got five items in the cart at just under 200 bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and buy all this stuff, get it sent over, and uh, the next time you see me, we'll be showing you all of this stuff. Okay, first let's start out with these ridiculous shoes. Um, and I say that for a couple different reasons. First of all, they smell really bad. So if you've ever bought anything that's been manufactured overseas and you open the box and you get that weird smoky smell, well, that's what these smell like. They are very uncomfortable. They sort of feel and look like plastic and they kind of feel like cardboard. So um, not a fan of these at all. And I would suggest avoiding these particular shoes at all cost. Okay, next we've got these uh, chukka boots from Clark's and these are actually kind of a surprise. They're really comfortable. They look great. The rubber crepe sole is very comfortable and nice looking. The suede looks great. I don't know how it's going to hold up over the long term, but right out of the box, I don't know. <laughs> I just might be hanging on to these. I didn't think I would be keeping anything out of this uh, shipment, but these might be staying. Okay, the next item we have is the Kufandi dress shirts. Um... Not really a fan. I mean, it's not bad. It's just a little bit big on me. The buttons are very cheap. The breast pocket is not an actual pocket. It's just fake. I mean, I could see running this through the laundry, trying to get it to shrink down, and then maybe spending a little bit of money to replace the buttons with something nicer. But then if the fit isn't good out of the laundry, I would have to take it to a tailor, uh, have the sides taken in, have the sleeves taken in and maybe shortened. So I think at that point you're sort of you're you're beyond the cost of the shirt at only I think it was 25 bucks. So not horrible, but I will not be keeping this one. And now we have the cardigan sweater. As you can see, I did pull the trigger on the burgundy one. Um, it's a little bit big on me. Maybe I could wash it and uh, shrink that thing up slightly. But the the shawl collar is a little large. It just seems to be a little big and puffy for me. Just not my personal taste. The sleeves are really long, so as you can see, I've got the sleeves cuffed up a little bit. But also, the, the shawl collar is a little bit different than what it looked like on the website. And I think after I went back and looked, the collar on this one is just a little bit different. As you can see, it just sort of comes out from behind the actual sweater front, and I don't really like that. So it's just a weird little detail, but uh, all in all, not horrible, but this one will be going back. Next, we've got the puffer jacket, and uh, it's actually not bad. Obviously, it's extremely big on me. I got the medium. I could have got the small, probably should have got the small, but I mean, it's not horrible. It comes with a little stuff bag that's attached to it uh, if you're into something like that, if you need to stuff it into a bag, but it's like, a, I mean, you can see it's just gigantic on me. I don't know if that the small would be really any different, but I mean, it's not bad. It's just, it has to go back because it's just way oversized on me, but it's not too bad. So what's the final verdict? I guess I could say I'm like 50-50 on whether those bestseller items really deserve to be the bestsellers, right? So like I mentioned a minute ago, most everything will be going back, especially those horrible shoes, but the puffer jacket really seemed okay if it was the right size. And I guess the sweater wasn't really horrible. I just didn't care for it in person. So like I mentioned at the top of the video, I'm gonna put a link down in the description to my Amazon store so you can go check out some of those categories that I set up for you. Thank you once again for watching, and if you're a subscriber, I'll see you in just a few days for another brand new video. But until then, live well, my friends, and I do hope to see you again very soon.